Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today it's time for another perfume review and it's the turn of the original Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Classique. So this is the um, female version of the two classique perfumes by Jean-Paul Gaultier. You'll probably be familiar with the advert that comes on TV every Christmas of the sort of male sailor's body and the lady's pink body usually in some kind of risque lingerie outfit um, in a very sort of French style advert. Um, this perfume has been around for a really long time now. It, in, they bring out sort of summer versions and different versions every year. Um, people collect the bodies because they make them in different patterns and it comes in a big um, orange tip orange it comes in a big silver tin um, so everything about it is a little bit different little bit unusual as you would expect from Jean Paul Gaultier and it's one of those perfumes that has a real following so people that wear it tend to have always worn it always want to wear it not interested in anything else um, so it is a bit of a um, yeah it's it's a good sell it's a popular fragrance so I have it here on a card and I'm also wearing it. Wow, that was strong. Um, so, first thing to know about this perfume is it's a strong perfume. Okay, this is not for the faint-hearted. And the main notes that you get are vanilla and ylang ylang. So, if you like vanilla, this is great for you. It's quite intense. It's quite heavy. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. It's kind of like a sweet floral. Um, it's good for lasting, it will stay on your clothes, you know, you'll go into your, open your wardrobe and you'll probably be able to smell it on everything if you've been wearing it for a few weeks. Um, so it is a good quality perfume. You've also got quite a few other floral notes in here like um, rose, you've got amber, star anise. When you first spray it you get a little bit of sort of pear and citrus but that will fade after a few seconds, so ignore that. Um, but the overarching smell is like a floral vanilla smell. It's almost a bit soapy perhaps, kind of like a rosy type soap maybe. Um, it's kind of powdery, maybe that's what's making me think of it. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a big puff powder ball, what that would smell like in a sort of Parisian ladies boudoir <laughs> um i wouldn't say it was a particularly modern fragrance i'd say it was more classic smell and the sweetness makes me think of like the moulin rouge in france and i totally get the whole branding behind it i think that aligns very well with this fragrance which is something that doesn't seem to happen very often these days when brands bring out perfumes so you know, this is a classic perfume. It's a consistent perfume that's always going to have a following. You know, I can't imagine it being discontinued. So if you haven't smelt it, then definitely try it. You know, it's worth a smell just to experience the Jean-Paul Gaultier classic experience. Um, but yeah, definitely try it out. And if you like vanilla, sweet, powdery type fragrances, maybe like Narciso Rodriguez, you might like this perfume. Um, but definitely spray it, wear it, walk around, see how it lasts. I think it's quite a nice thing for a gift, you know, because it's very feminine, the bottle is beautiful. Um, and, you know, you could almost get a sort of his and hers gifts, perhaps for a, I don't know, anniversary, Christmas, something like that. And um, that could be quite a cute present because they match. So overall, um, this is a great perfume. It's a classic. And if you haven't tried it, you really must. So that's it for me really on this. Um, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now.